Hello, welcome to this overview of the new classification for ependymomas proposed by the C Impact Now group, which was published in the Journal of Brain Pathology earlier this year. This is published as a update 7. The C Impact Now group is the consortium to inform molecular and practical approaches to the CNS tumor taxonomy created under the sponsorship of the International Society of Neuropathology. The new classification has come up because of the advances in molecular biology since the publication of the last WHO classification back in 2016. Interestingly, the molecular biology of ependymomas seem to be related to the anatomic site where these tumors develop. That is whether these tumors, the molecular biology is related to so the supratentorial tumors and different molecular pathologies are related to posterior fossa tumors and different molecular abnormalities related to the spinal ependymomas. And this new classification is a molecular classification. It's not a classification based on prognosis. As such, there's not much information about grading of different ependymomas. So let's look at the molecular biology of ependymomas arising from different neuroaxis sites. So let's initially go to the supratentorial ependymoma. And in the supratentorial ependymoma, the common molecular abnormality is fusion genes. There are two fusion genes that are commonly seen in the supratentorial ependymomas. The first one is C11ORF95 RELA and the second type is YAP1 MAMLD1 fusion gene. There are other fusion genes that may be associated with supratentorial ependymomas but these uh, occur rarely. Now let's go to the posterior fossa ependymomas and if you look at the molecular abnormality in these uh, ependymomas arising from posterior fossa, the commonest abnormality you see is in the methylation group. There are two types, PFA and PFB. The PFB is seen more in older children and in adults. Rarely, the fusion gene um, that we looked at in the supratentorial ependymomas, c 11 orf 95 rla very rarely can also be associated with posterior fossa ependymomas. Now, if you look at the spinal ependymomas, um, the important molecular um, abnormality is NYC in amplification. This is rare, but it's associated with aggressive disseminated spinal ependymomas. We'll come to the mix of papillary ependymomas uh, later. However, the mix of papillary ependymomas have a prognosis similar to classical ependymomas. So in this classification, they have suggested that the mix of papillary ependymoma should be treated as grade 2 ependymoma, ependymomas, ependymomas than grade 1 as was in the previous classification. When on histology, the tumor is an ependymoma, however, no recognized molecular abnormality can be identified on molecular analysis. Those tumors are labeled as ependymomas not elsewhere classified or ependymoma NES. Similarly, if on histopathology the tumor is an ependymoma, 
However, there is no facility to undertake molecular biology analysis, then those ependymomas are uh, labeled as ependymomas not otherwise specified or ependymoma NOS. While this new classification is mainly based on molecular analysis, there is still role for histopathological diagnosis. This is so for subependymomas and mixopapillary ependymomas. These don't have um, reliable molecular abnormality, so their diagnosis still depends on histopathological diagnosis. So in summary, the new classification from the C impact now group is mainly based on molecular biology. And interestingly, the molecular biology of ependymoma seem to be related to the sites where the tumors arise, whether it's supratentorial, posterior fossa, or spinal, they have different molecular abnormalities. However, histopathology is still important for diagnosing mixopapillary and subependymomas. Sub as I mentioned earlier, this is a molecular classification and there's not much correlation between the molecular classification and the prognosis as there's no, as it's not a classification that is um, based on prognosis. Um, grading, in, there's little on grading information about the tumors. These will come with further, uh, when uh, studies on um, molecular classification and their pro outcomes are published. So I hope you have found this um, overview on the latest classification of ependymomas useful. Thank you and wishing you a good day. Bye for now.